Shepherd Youth, it's Monday, the start of a brand new week. We've got new breath in our lungs, new mercies from God, and a new dose of Motivation Monday. I'm your host, Leah Dauphin, but we can pump Della it up a bit, and you can call me Leah D. I I don't even know why I said that because I don't even know anyone from Palmdale that just goes by their last initial other than like, you know, when there's one or more kids that have the same name in the same class. Anyways, let's move forward. You can still call me Leah D. Okay. In this edition of Motivation Monday, I want to share with you all one of my favorite verses and one of my all-time favorite quotes. This one is from our 26th American President, Theodore Roosevelt, and it goes like this. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs and comes up short again and again, because there is no effort without error or shortcoming, but who knows the great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself for a worthy cause, who at the best, knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly, so that this, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who knew neither victory nor defeat. Let's take a moment and just let that sink in. Okay, I don't know about you, but if I were to guess, a lot of us struggle with the fear of judgment, right? The fear of being judged. And I know that for me, I, I really don't want to admit this, but it's, it's been the battle of my life. Um, the fear of being judged has kept me from doing the things that I have really wanted to do. Um, you know, going to the beach on a hot summer day, or cutting up a rug at a wedding, you know. Now, if you see me at weddings, I'll be out there because I've kind of gotten over that, over that issue. But you yourself know, you know, the limitations that fear has caused in your life. And the truth is, though, that people, all people, everywhere, anywhere, all over the world, throughout time, we have we have um, an opinion about anything and everything, right? And that sometimes includes uh, opinions about other people's choices. But if we are to live in God's will, and if we're to follow His leading wherever He wants to take us, then we can trust that He will honor those choices. And then the importance of other people's criticisms or judgments, then they'll start dimming away. And then we will have freedom. And we will be able to have joy and newfound confidence in the work and efforts and the decisions that we make. Joshua 1.9 says this, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. So friends, go ahead and do the do to make yourself a braver you. Leah D. Allen.